Hey guys, we're going to start reading Pet's Rule, My Kingdom of Darkness, written by Susan Tan. Chapter 1, Evil Set Free. For ages I have waited, locked away. I knew that one day the bars of my prison would open and evil would walk free. At last, all will tremble before me, I barked. I looked around my new kingdom. Strangers towered over me. Greetings, human, I said. Fear me soon. This kingdom will be mine. But my new humans didn't understand. He's so small, a boy in a baseball hat said. Look at his little ears, a woman with glasses said. Bow, you fools, I said. I am your future ruler. Listen to his tiny bark, the, tiny, the tallest one said. My bark isn't tiny, he said. It's magnificent, and it will be heard across the land. Ah, the boy said. That's when I realized that these were not the smartest humans, except for the smallest one. He has a lot to say, she said quietly, and I do. You see, I am not an ordinary chihuahua. I have great and terrible destiny. Someday, I will rule the world. It is not going to be easy. First, I have to take over this house. I will make these humans my minions, which means they'll do everything I tell them to do. Once I rule this house, I will build my pet army, and then I will unleash my dark plans on the world. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, leashes are a big thing here. And it's hard to make your minions fear you when you are wearing one, especially when the leash is decorated with flowers. You'll pay for this, I told the tall one on our first walk. You're so cute, he said. I'm not cute, I barked. I am evil. But the minion didn't hear me. After the walk, my minions tried to feed me dinner, but it wasn't up to my standards. Before bed, the smallest human came to the kitchen and took a drawing down from the refrigerator. She sat next to me on the floor. This is your new family, puppy, she said. She showed me the drawing. I'm Lucy. I'm going to be the famous geologist someday. That means someone who studies rocks and the earth. And this is my dad, my mom, and my brother, Kevin. We're the Chin family, he, she said. Excellent, I said. You will be my minions and I will reward you for serving. Bedtime, Lucy, Mr. Chin said, coming into the kitchen. Can I take him to my room? I promise he'll behave. No, Lucy, we agreed. No dogs on the bed. He sleeps here, her dad said. Listen to Lucy, minion. I barked up at Mr. Chin or you will regret it. See, Mr. Chin said, smiling. He's getting used to things already. I sighed and darted away as he tried to pat, pet me. I did let Lucy scratch my ears, though. Sorry, puppy, she said. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Lucy closed the door to my crate. Mr. Chin turned off the light, and they went upstairs. I was left all alone in the new prison in a dark kitchen. But I'm used to the dark. It won't be long now, I said to the shadows. Soon I will rule this place. I fell asleep and dreamed of evil deeds. I wasn't lonely or scared at all. All right, that's the end of chapter one. What did you notice? What do you wonder? See you at chapter two.